Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to make this salt fish recipe for you guys. It's literally one of my favorite things to eat and make. If you want to learn how to make this simple but delicious meal, then keep on watching. The first thing you need is the salt fish. Today I'm using this Bacala Rico brand. It's a Spanish style brand that I've grown to love. You just gotta make sure that it's wild caught depending on what brand you choose to use. The next thing I do is just place the salt fish into a dish. This is just for me to soak it because I'm gonna soak it for about an hour and a half to two hours before I actually boil it. The next step is to just cover the salt fish with some room temperature water. Um, this is just to get rid of excessive saltiness because I'm just gonna leave it covered for at least two hours like I said. After it's been sitting for two hours, I just throw off the water because I'm gonna put fresh water to start boiling it. After the salt fish has been boiling for about 10 minutes, I just come back to check on it just to ensure that it's not boiling over into the stove. I leave the cover slightly off and allow it to boil for another 15 minutes. At this point, I'm just throwing off the water because I'm gonna put the sawfish to the side while I prepare the other ingredients for frying. I'm using one medium onion, half green bell pepper, half red bell pepper, a tomato, scotch bonnet pepper. In the meantime, I'm boiling the plantain, some bananas, and dumplings to go along with the sawfish. Once I have my cutting board ready with all my veggies, it's time to start chopping everything up for the frying pan. So this is how everything looks after all the veggies have been chopped up. The scotch bonnet peppers I'm going to leave to the side for now. The next thing I do is just add a generous amount of olive oil to the frying pan, enough to fry both the veggies and the salt fish after. Once the oil has been heated for about 5 minutes, I just go ahead and add all the veggies to the frying pan. The next thing I do is just pinch to flick the salt fish into smaller pieces. You can use a knife for this part if you'd like, but usually I just use my hands. Now this right here is where all the magic starts to happen. I'm adding the flaked salt fish to the frying pan. Now it's time to lower the heat and allow the salt fish to fry for about five minutes. The next thing I do is just sprinkle a little bit of black pepper all over the salt fish. It already has that salty flavor, so the black pepper is just bringing everything all together. So once I tasted the salt fish, I noticed that it's almost finished. I just need to give it another three minutes to cook thoroughly. So I'm just gonna allow it to sit on medium to low heat for the next three minutes. So this is what the salt fish looks like after the additional three minutes. It smells yummy, it looks delightful, and I know that it's gonna taste amazing. Mm -hmm. 
The amazing thing about Soulfish is that you can literally pair it with anything. You can have it with roast or fried breadfruit. You can have it with fried dumplings. You can have it with fried green plantains. You can have it in fritters. You can have it with boiled bananas with dumplings like I'm having it today. You can have it with sweet potatoes. You can have it with yellow or white yams. Or you could pair it with ackee, which is the national dish of Jamaica. There are like so many great things to pair with saltfish. So if you've never tried it before, I guarantee you if you try it with at least one of these items, then you'll definitely love it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. If you have any recipe requests or anything you'd like to see on my channel, please drop them in the comments below. Thank you guys. Bye.